you guys don't believe what happened to me. Like, it's so crazy. You got the summertime love. I work for your heart all night till the dawn. You stay with they switched up. I know you're the one. They go and they come. You like the summer breeze. Do the trees. You like a getaway. Shoot me. You like the summertime love. Channel. Did you catch his amour? Yeah. Nice. We are heading to Gabrovol. Gabrovol. Um, this is supposed to be a town where, well, no, in the town there's the area where there's like craftsmen and you watch them make different things from scratch. Those craftsmen are, are making different things things from scratch the way they were making them 300 years ago that's the key to this they're not just making things from scratch they're making them traditionally from scratch so like how things were made like years and years ago back in the traditional times of Bulgaria so we're going to see that probably find some cool sou souvenirs and then we're heading to a rose refinery just so cool and the reason why is because Bulgaria is home of the roses you know how like in the US oh, we're going into the bridge you know how in the US um, every state has like its thing like Florida what does Florida have one Florida is what Such a state. yeah but it's oranges right yeah so Florida is like home of the oranges whatever Georgia's the peaches you know how every state has like, their thing right so Bulgaria thing is roses Right? It's your thing. And like when you go places, like any like type of, I don't know what to call it. Like our Walgreens and CVS, they have a store called DM. They always have like beauty products that are made from roses. And they have like rose perfume and all this like nice stuff. I even found yesterday a rose wine. They had a rose liqueur and a rose wine. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. I bought it for souvenirs. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to head to that. I'm excited to be in Gabriel as well. We're still up in the mountains and um, it's pretty cool today. I have on shorts, but I brought a jacket. I brought a jacket. That's all that matters. I have my jacket. Um, anyways, so yeah, mm, I'll show you guys what it's like today. I think it's gonna be really fun. And then after that, we're heading back to Haskabo, the best town in Bulgaria. <laughs> A beach e del na etera etera mm -hmm. you see me i'm a whole bulgarian <laughs> Okay, okay. 
Why are you just staring at a struggle? <laughs> but this is the outside of the, of the animal with the fur and everything, and it's the same thing. But this one right here is the I think they just the removed the real fur. Oh my god, that's the whole foot. Which means this is a goat? Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. Da. Uh, you want Anelia or Ani? Anelia. Da. Say, say hi. Oh, you have Boogie. Can mommy see? Oh, this is the same hand I could. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> wow, all yours. Can you blow? Look. Look at mommy. Blow. Plums that are all falling from the tree. It's crazy because this morning I was asking how long does it take to start a plum tree because it was like huge seeds and I was eating them. And they're like, his dad told me maybe like five years before you start to see fruit come from it because the tree needs to get like really big, of course. And it's crazy now, all these fresh plums all over the ground. So amazing. That's it? No. So we are at Shipka now. It's on top of the mountains. Oh, I heard something buzzing around me. So we left. We left Etra. We came to Shipka. And the steps is 900, but we cheated half of them. <laughs> we drove to the top, and now we're taking the remaining steps to get to the top. And tell them about it. Huh? Tell them what about it? You just told me. Okay, so I'll do the honors and tell you guys about the infamous story of Shipka. So, you have the Bulgarians and the Turkish at war, and the Bulgarians are supposed to be guarding the top of this mountain, and the Turkish somehow surround them and are attacking from bottom up, and the Bulgarians are attacking from bottom, from top down. Now brace yourself, because once you hear this, you will never view Bulgarians the same again. So, the Bulgarians run out of ammunition, they run out of all of, like the war materials to pretty much defend themselves. So, they start to toss down the dead bodies of the soldiers that have already like died in the midst of this war. Their battle buddies, their soldiers in crime, like these are the people that they've been fighting side by side with and they just toss them down. Can you imagine what was going through the Turkish minds? Like, we gotta bounce, these people are crazy, they're throwing down their own men right now, they're willing to go through any lengths to win this war to protect their people, let's go. <laughs> like I just find it so crazy so of course the Bulgarians end up winning this war and the Turkish end up surrendering and this is now the location where these men are honored this war is honored and apparently there are some of the remains of the dead bodies still buried here and I just think it's really cool I think it's pretty insane but the story in general is just like super honorable and that's the story of Shipka <laughs>
statement. It's insane. It's so beautiful. You literally can see Ani all the way down there. Hold on, let me show you guys. That's Ani. <laughs> Baby. We just made our print. A plus T. One day we're gonna show Ani this. She's not gonna believe us. This is the only proof we're gonna I, have. I, I, remember, I remember the, the location. The location. So when you come. <laughs> All right, so this is where it gets crazy because from the time we left Shipka to the time we arrived here, something happened to my eye and I literally could not see out of it. I wiped off all of my makeup and it was just so watery and itchy and I just didn't know what happened. I was so convinced like it was minor, but it just wouldn't go away. And you will hear me complain multiple times while we're here at this beautiful rose refinery, but I tried my best to enjoy it. <laughs> here we go. We are at the Rose Refinery now. It's really beautiful out here. Let's hike up. I um. Yeah, it's really beautiful. I um. Um, tell your dad I can still feel it, but. Um. So yeah, it's really beautiful out here. We just got some tea and we got coffee and stuff and we're gonna walk around and see everything. They have like a little animal so you can see like, what did you say, it's elk and llama? Elk, some deer, some other stuff. Like, I don't know how many guys will find out. We're gonna see all the animals. I don't think we're in season for the roses. So I don't think you can do like rose picking and stuff, but I think that they allow that as well. We're gonna go through the distillery and see how everything works for them making different rose products. It's kind of cool. This is the best green tea I've had since I've been in Bulgaria. You know like the standard just green tea pots? This is like have like some type of minty flavor in it. Probably has rose in it too. <laughs> You guys want to see something interesting? The entrance is the Statue of Liberty lady. I don't know if that's really a Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty, the chain's being broken off of her. And then it's like dragon tail with arrows going through it. I wonder what that means. I'm very interested. Nope. So, the, this, the rose distillation process is from May to June. They were founded in 1991. The animals here is not a zoo. And they have deer, mouflon, horses, and ponies. And then, I said something else that was interesting. I was curious about. They have a cosmetic store for the roses, which is probably really fresh and, uh, and natural. And they also uh, notice on the menu you have a rose dessert. What? It's kunife with roses for two. So it's traditional hot dessert. Saltless soft cheese and sugar syrup with rose oil and orange peel. Very interesting. <laughs>
Ring it. Ring it. Oh. Nah. Catch that. Oh, I know you want me to do this. Yeah. How, how, how'd you make it? <laughs> uh, how'd you make it? <laughs> okay. I got you on camera. <laughs> That's a nice little bench over there. That is. That's a really nice location for a wedding. It is. I guess that's that's the idea behind it, you know? Yeah. Oh, look at the roses. Yeah. I mean, springtime when everything is blooming. I think like, it's so beautiful. Have a mountain back there. I have to stop and go with footage machine. We can't keep going because who's gonna sit there and edit through all that? What'd you say? Tell my wife is nagging why I'm doing her her job. <laughs> Can you repeat yourself, please? <laughs> Can you repeat yourself? Nay, my eye! My ochi! No, 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 repeat yourself. What did you just say? <laughs> okay, seriously, you gonna stop that now? <laughs> nag, 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 nag. I'm watching. Yeah. You wanna, you wanna, wanna look at the camera? I can't. Oh my gosh. Still? This is the worst. Still burning? Yes, and it's like worse. Like I could barely keep my eye open when light comes towards it. I don't know what I did. I don't know what's in there. When did it, when did it start? When, when you we were left, in Shipka, right? When we left Shipka. Well, I'm taking some very, 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 very good uh, videos, you know. I think I'm made for that job. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I'll hire you. Psh, you don't have enough money. You pay me already like like dirt cheap for my other job. You wanna you wanna get me for a second job to pay me dirt <laughs> dirt cheap? Too dirt cheap, add up to a lot of money. <laughs> nah. You wanna climb over there next to the guy on the chair? Not on the chair, I'm sorry, on the horse. I'll try to pretend like I can see. Oh, maybe I can smell my eyes closed. Yeah. Let's do that. I don't know how to unlock your phone. Fun of me. This is wrong. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just close my eyes and smile, okay? You tell me when you're snapping. Uh, hey, sorry, I don't believe what happened to me. Like, it's so crazy. I'm back again. I realized that I never really had footage explaining how this turned out. So, as we're leaving the rosillery, we realized that my eye wasn't getting better. So, Alex's father called a friend who lived in the local town near the rosillery, and um, they referred us to an eye doctor. We get there, I think the office was already closed, but there was a woman who overheard our conversation, and um, she referred us 
closer into the center of that town where there's another eye doctor that we could go to we get there and the lady sees me she was a really like older lady but I wasn't worried my husband was worried but I'm like this is a field of work I trust that she knows what she's doing and um she started checking out my eye she like flipped my lid inside and out and everything it was honestly like one of those appointments when you go to get new glasses and they sit you down and check out your eyes um so she's like she doesn't see anything she's like maybe all the rubbing it got irritated and so forth so she like gives me some drops and she puts something else in my eye immediately to relieve the pain and whatever she put in there I just knew this was over because my eye was immediately like numb and it felt better so um yeah like we go pick up the, the prescription and um, maybe 30 minutes we're heading back to Hoskovo now and maybe like 30 minutes into the drive my eye gets irritated again I can't open it it's super watery every time it blinks it's like something is scratching it and um, yeah I kind of just go to bed and kind of sleep it out and the next morning I wake up it's relieved in like for a little bit and then of course as you start like walking around blinking again it got irritated again and um, Alex that was like you know what, maybe we should get a second opinion so we go to another doctor, eye doctor in Hoskovo and this is why Hoskovo is the best town in Bulgaria once again because this eye doctor sent me down like maybe not even like two minutes to the appointment he's like she has a eyelash growing underneath her eyelid so he starts to um pull it out he takes some tweezers and he like pretty much yanks out this eyelid this eyelash and as soon as that's done i blink no medication nothing's in my eye my eye felt so much better and one thing i really loved was that he apologized for the lady um misdiagnosing me at the other in the other town he's like i apologize for my colleague's misdiagnosis and i thought that was so beautiful just because he has no idea who this lady is but just because they are in the same practice same field of work he acknowledged her as his colleague thought that was so amazing so yeah thank you guys so much for watching Watching this video I'll see you guys in my next video please stay tuned because it's absolutely my favorite 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 experience while in Bulgaria talk to you later Mwah.